And welcome back, everyone, to the Naruto What If. And one second, I'm back in the corner. I had to just have a little bit of the uh, full screen there so I could make the thumbnail. But the, we saw one out, in the one out in the poll. So coming to us from Wade Wilson, Hex, Fabio underscore gaming, a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 Minecraft, we have What If Naruto Got... Uh, one for all. I always do that too. I always do one for all and one all for one. I always mix them up. So one for all. <laughs> now, okay, look, there's this is one of those particular what ifs where I do have to lean into the fanfic element of it because they're unlike with the Devil Fruit one where you could in lore for Naruto think of a way Devil Fruit could exist in the world. Th one for all as it exists in My Hero Academia, where you have not just the super strength, physicality, all that, but also the quirk factors that exist within One for All. There would be no conceivable way for me to do that in My Hero, or sorry, in Naruto, unless I treated it like a kind of like an Orochimaru jutsu, where it got passed down from individual to individual, and it just so happened that each of those particular quirks were like Keke Genkai that melded into there. And as I say that out loud, that is technically a way I could have done this. I'll leave, look, I'll say this right out, right out the gate. I am open to a retcon for what I'm going to do now, if you like that idea. Because as I say it out loud, I'm kind of liking that idea more and more in my head. But I also like the idea of, say an alternate version of All Might if from a different reality where, let's say, one All for One was fully defeated, somehow winding up in this world. Uh, either way, that is kind of what we're going with here. We're going with the alternate reality All Might somehow winding up in the world of Naruto. Now, dimensional travel doesn't really exist in My Hero Academia. When we, we do have a little bit of it in Naruto. Not flat out alternate reality, but different dimension. Dimension hopping does exist. So it's not out of the realm of possibility that maybe after a fight or something like that, after he's recovered, All Might has somehow found himself in the world of Naruto. And he's been wandering, been saving individuals from like rogue ninjas. He ultimately wanders and finds himself in the village hidden of the leaves. He makes his residence and he finds that these are pretty good people. Uh, he's kind of been, find, been learning more about this world as he goes on, uh, goes through it. He's, and he kind of can treat, and because of the way he's seen how these ninja work, he can actually, he doesn't need to hide his identity, really. He can just use his All Might form and his All for One powers when he needs to, treating it pretty much kind of like a jutsu. Now, if you've ever, if you watch Death Battle, you know that an All Might actually is not the top dog in Naruto by any stretch of the means. Uh, in fact, all Might wouldn't even rank... All Might would probably get his teeth kicked in by a giant chunk of... Not teeth kicked in, but he would probably be defeated by a bunch of the Akatsuki overall. Like, in terms of raw strength, like, raw strength, there are actually very few in the Naruto world that would probably be able to really compete with him. But when you're factoring Chakra into the equation, augmenting the raw strength, even then, that's when you start to get a little bit more... Huh. But you know what? All Might finds his way to the village, and he's actually living pretty peacefully. Even make, he's even kind of got the uh, the ninja. He's part ninja at this point, but I actually think I could see part ninja. He's maybe taking up playing a part time ninja, but I could see his day job actually being working at the academy, where he sees like this world's got many protectors on its own. Like I, oh, I will help where I can. I will always be a symbol for peace, but. I don't think I can keep up with some of these guys. And honestly, from a speed perspective, All Might is, like, far slower than a giant chunk of the Naruto cast. Like, Chunin, yeah, he can out he can outspeed any random Chunin, I imagine. Though the body flicker technique is something he can't compete with. And, like, it's, when it comes to, like, elemental jutsu, there's, there's just nothing he can really do. All Might also doesn't really have chakra in this case. At least in the traditional, in the Naruto sense of it. We all theoretically have chakra, the life energy that's within us that we can mold. But we're talking about chakra in the Naruto sense. He doesn't have it in the same sense he does in his world. So he's really, he truly is a Rock Lee relying on his physical strength kind of guy. Which luckily against most average ninja, 
he even average Joni, he he can out muscle most of them. The only ones he'd really struggle without muscling, we know guys one that could straight out beat him. Um Tsunade, Madara with Susano cages, uh A would be a problem for him just on sh uh, sheer speed um factor. And going up against higher level tail beasts would be an issue for him. And when I say higher level, I do mean anything probably four tails or higher. Uh or Jin Cherokee tapping into that power. Still, he all my uh, while downgraded significantly in the Naruto world, would still be a powerful individual that someone wouldn't want to haphazardly go up against. Remember, he can also still throw a wind gust just by throwing his fists. Um obviously he's still got a he's got different types of smashes. Honestly, I imagine he could probably even do like a thunderclap ability. I don't think we ever saw him might do that, but he could probably is capable of doing like a thunderclap. But anyway, where this is all going is uh, Yoshinari, uh, Yoshin, Yoshinari, yeah, Yoshinari Yagi is his actual name, if I'm not, if I'm remembering correctly, or is it Toshinari? Oh God, I want to say, is it Toshinari or <laughs> Yoshinari? I want to say, actually, I think it's Toshinari, right? That's his real name? All Might, hold on, All Might. Uh, his real name is, yeah, Toshinari, it was Toshinari, sorry. I combined it, the Y in his last name with the T in his first name. Toshinari. Uh, most of the time he's actually pretty peaceful, and like I said, much like Iruka, even though Iruka is still a ninja on call and a tuning, he spends a lot of time working at the academy, brushing up on his teaching skills. It's not until one day that he's kind of like going to the grocery store that he sees this little, let's call him a five-year-old, uh, Naruto. I imagine that'd be a good time to kind of pinpoint that. Running, being chased by these individuals. Get back here, you little brother! <laughs> Wait, no, I'm sorry, it was just a joke! <laughs> and he's seen this kid around before, and he's noticed that this kid doesn't seem to have a family, or anyone, really. So he, you know, he kind of, and he sees that they're getting a little violent, so he kind of decides to go after them, so you just keep an eye on them. And they have them cornered. It's like, now you're going to get, they have like two by fours or whatever. But it's like, now you're going to get a you little brat. It's like, I'm so, it's like, excuse me, but what exactly you got to do to that young child? It's like, this, uh, this isn't anything to do with you, skeleton. Uh, skeleton. Back off. We're, we're here to beat some sense to the demon. Demon, the only demon. The only monsters I'm seeing right now are the th uh, or the, are the three ass. I can see Ozzy. I can see uh, Toshinari being a little crass. I don't think we've ever really heard him like cuss, but he, I don't see any reason why but the three assholes about to beat on a little kid. So, yeah. <laughs> you know, and say, like, oh, I know you. You're that new guy who came by a couple months ago. Uh, and the Toshinori Yagi, although I go by another name. I don't give a rat's ass. Get out of here, new guy, if you know what's good for you. We're willing to beat you up, too. Um... I'm afraid I can't let you do that. You see, and, uh, and so he's getting, you know, he puts down his groceries. <laughs> Is that fine? Fine, we'll beat the hell out of you. Then we'll beat the demon up. And you see, there's one, uh, like I told you, there's another name I'm known by. <laughs> and <it> just, <laughs> that's All Might. And I, and uh, never fear, because I'm never here, child, for I am here. And then just quickly smacks them down. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, Oh, are you okay, little one? Uh, whoa, you, you're huge. Why are you, why are you helping? What, why? Because you were in trouble. Of course, I, why would I help you? And then just turns back. Mm. And, and I think actually living in the ninja village would be very useful to um, All Might due to the fact that, A, ever, he doesn't have to keep up appearances. He can just be in his normal form so he can conserve his energy a lot easier. And he doesn't have to be in All Might form constantly, which means he can actually make his All Might form last a lot longer throughout the day. Remember, when we meet him in, um, when we meet him at the very beginning of the series, I believe he said his limit was an hour and a half a day that he could be All Might and use his powers. Now, he could actually stay looking like All Might for longer, but he could only actually straight out use his powers for uh, for uh, longer periods, uh, for only that amount of time. And then when he gave his quirk to Deku, it started, his time started to shorten down. And eventually, because he didn't have all for one anymore, or one for all. I'm going to do that a lot. I'm going to try not to. He didn't have one for all anymore. So it was just slowly winding down, slowly wearing out. Here, though, he still has it. So even though he's probably still limited to an hour and a half a day, he can it's space that out effectively. Uh, if he needs to, and are you okay? It's like, I, I, 
Uh, yeah, is it here? Are you, are you, are you hurt? Why, why were they chasing you? Because I played a... Oh, you played a joke? What was the joke? And he sees this graffiti with these fans like, well, I mean, that, I mean, to be fair, you know that's vandalism, right? You know, yeah, but... It's like, well, and he kind of laughs. Like, yeah, I gotta admit, it's kind of funny. Um... And everyone's just like, what, what's, what's he, that guy doing with the, with the Fox brother, the Fox, and he's, he keeps hearing, he's heard rumors of this, it's like, so this is the Fox child I've heard about, the Nine Tails, but that's not impossible, he doesn't look like a demon, uh, I'll have to talk to the third about this, because All Might is still very powerful, and by all accounts, apart from Guy, part one Kakashi, as strong as he is, is actually pretty weak compared to how he is later in the series, in fact, I'd argue Guy could beat part one Kakashi, if they both went all out, Guy would beat Part 1 Kakashi without too much difficulty. Because um, he would just go... He Honestly, 7th Gate alone would probably be enough to really put a, uh, Part 1 Kakashi in trouble. Part 2 Kakashi versus Guy, that's when we... That's, you, there are debates about that. on You can find them. That one becomes a lot more uh, heated and baitable. And if you're maxing Kakashi out for when he's using, like, uh, Susano and, and Kamoi, when he briefly had, like, uh, Kamoi Susano, when he had both eyes temporarily, well, then, yeah, the, the guy can't do anything against that. Because um, then you gave Kakashi full Kamoi. <laughs> There's, like, nothing. Even Kaguya was in trouble from that. Think about that. That's how strong that Kakashi got. But, yeah, All Might would still be at least in the top five strongest individuals in the village probably and that's without chakra so he decides he, he you know he, after he takes narjo gets him gets his food he sees narjo's putting it away he's like holy crap kid you can really put it away can't you say oh th thanks i'm gonna go down he just goes he sees narjo sees where narjo lives and he lives by himself and his eyes he, he's gonna go talk to the third and he goes like come in it's like oh uh, toshinori what can i do for you uh, forgive me, Lord Third. I know that's a little uh, presumption. Not at all. Not at all. You're new to this village, and you've been quite an asset at the uh, the school academy. So, what can we? What can I do for you? Uh, I. Uh, it's about the boy Naruto. Mm -hmm. What about? Him? What about him? Uh, <laughs> what? It, what is his story exactly? I keep hear. I keep hearing the rumors going around that he's the demon fox. That he's the fox boy. But what does that mean exactly? Mm -hmm. And Sarutobi's not happy to hear that. Although, let's be honest, Sarutobi knew those rumors were probably going around. There's little he could do at that point. <sighs> what I'm about to tell you, it's technically an esoteric secret, but... <laughs> but... Uh, but... And he explains the night of his birth, the Nine-Tail attack, and that he, the, he has the Nine-Tail demon fox seal with him. He's like, I see. So he's burdened, he's burdened with... He has a, carries a burden he doesn't even know about. Is that really fair to him? Uh... uh uh, third Okage, I didn't want, I didn't want the burden to, uh, I didn't want him to be burdened with the knowledge to have at least somewhat of a normal childhood. Well, I think we both know that that went out the window. He, d there's no way he's going to have a normal childhood. He doesn't have a normal childhood now. Do you really think he's going to have one if they don't tell him? Hmm. And unfortunately, the third's like he's got. He's, it's a good point. However, I, however, it, there may be a way to help him out. No, and what do you? It, it, and what are you implying, Toshinari? I think I finally... Uh, and he kind of looks at him and like, I looked in that kid's eye. I, and, and he spoke to Nar too. He was having a good... He was having a conversation about, you know, what he wants. What he, uh, you know, his dreams. How he wants to be the Okage. He saw the look in his eyes. And then I had to be acknowledged. To be acknowledged. It's like, I saw the look in his eyes. I need to I need to talk to him one more time. And I have. I think I know what I'm going to have to do. I'll get back. I think I may have found my successor. And so he goes, and he finds Naruto again, who's not in school, because Naruto isn't in school yet. He's kind of just wandering, and I was like, hey, Naruto. He's like, oh, you're Mr. Yoshinari, Toshinari. He keeps doing that, too. He's like, oh, yeah, I am. And I say, oh, th thanks again for your like, Not all. Hey, uh, I just want to talk. I just want to, you were an interesting young man. I wanted to get to know you a little bit more, kid. How about we get some ice cream or something? Ooh, ice cream. Okay. <laughs> and so they're getting ice cream. And he starts like, so tell me, kid, you mentioned yesterday you want to be the Hokage, but why exactly? I'm curious. So people will look at him, respect me, believe it. Hmm. That's not a bad goal, kid, but, uh, uh, but uh, you do know what exactly the Hokage, uh, being the Hokage means, right? He's testing Naruto. He wants to know if Naruto could understand what the real purpose of being Hokage is. 
And Naruto uh, kind of says, "Wait, well, well, I mean, he's being it's just being the strongest ninja in the village, and ever and uh, everyone looking up to him is like, well, just part of it, but it goes beyond that. I was talking with a third yesterday. We had a meeting. <laughs> I had just had to meet with him about something, and I you know I asked him about it. And you know what he said? He's like, being Okage is more than just being the strongest. And do you know why? Or sorry, do you know why the Okage is the strongest, Naruto? Because he has to protect everyone and everything in the village, everything that's precious to him." Uh, because the, that is what the village is to him. If, when you become Okage, you don't, the, you, whether you whether you had uh, a mother, father, child, similar, or whatever, you're not there. What's the best way to put it? Whether you had a family or not, the village becomes your family. and You protect your family with your life, kid. Uh, no matter what. And Naruto actually thinks about that. And like, is he, he now realizes like, wow, I never thought about it that way. You got anyone precious? Let me ask you something. You got anyone important to you, uh, Naruto? Uh, and Naruto actually starts to stop and think because he doesn't really have any friends at this point. And he's like, mm, is it really no one? Well, I mean, the third, I like the, the, the old man's uh, pretty nice to me. And Ruka, that uh, Ruka guy at the academy isn't bad. And there's the Kibale Ichiraku Ramen. They're nice. And honestly, there's you too. You're, I like you too. You're a pretty cool guy. <laughs> well, I feel very honored by that. Oh, there's this weird, and there's this weird, um, uh, pale-eyed girl who's actually, who doesn't pick on me. She's a little weird, but she's nice, too. I helped her out a while back about with some bullies. I was like, oh, it's, oh it sounds like, it sounds like you're building quite a little collective. Not a lot of people your own age, but you're young. you got plenty of time for that. So tell me, if you became Okage, what, do, what, what does it mean for them? And Naruto stops and thinks about that, and he's just looking at it. I would protect them with my life, because that's me. That's who I am. That's my ninja way. That's gonna be uh, that is my ninja way. <laughs> and he sees it in his eyes like, hmm. All right, tell you what. Well, that's good to hear, Naruto. I'll tell you what though. I think I have a way that I can help you reach that goal. Huh? What do you mean? And he's like, where well, I'm gonna help train you. I'm gonna help train you for uh, until uh, uh, from now until you graduate. Well, wait, really? What? You're a ninja? Well, I'm not technically a ninja, but I definitely know some ways to help you out. Um. And so I was like, awesome. What are we going to do? We're going to be building up your physical strength as well as your chakra control over the next many, a couple of years. And so I said, like, cool. And so All Might is now taking Naruto under his wing to be a successor. But keep in mind, Naruto's five. There's no way on God's green earth, even if he was jacked for his age, that he's giving a five to six year old all for one for all. <laughs> he, that's why I specifically stated he waits until graduation, because otherwise that's that's kind of messed up. <laughs> but what he can do is spend the entire time conditioning Naruto. Now, obviously, kids getting that jacked is actually unhealth, very unhealthy in real life. But that being said, he, uh, he would, uh, it's anime first off, but uh, chakra and the ninja, you know, ninja villages, all that. They, it's a little bit of a different process. And so Naruto spends a lot of time, Yoshinari is able to, I keep saying Yoshinari, Toshinari is able to, you know, put him on a regiment. He explains to all, uh, to the third what he's going to do, that he's going to be passing his abilities to Naruto. But it's going to take some time. Now, luckily, unlike Deku, who only had, what was it, like six, seven something odd months, he didn't even have a year before um, he had to uh, go to the exams and, you know, he had to push himself in unbearably far. Naruto has the benefit of having pretty much up until he's 12, basically. So he's got seven years. Seven years, Yosh uh, Toshinari uh, is, uh, you know, drilling Naruto. And that means he can start light and then move heavier and heavier and heavier and heavier. Until eventually we get to the caddy, uh, we get to the graduation exams. Now, what has happened this time? Well, Naruto... Has actually, while his grades haven't improved academically speaking, his abilities with his chakra and his physicality is second to none among his class. Even Rock Lee would be hard pressed to tackle Naruto in a physical fight. Speed wise, Lee's got the edge, no doubt, but in skill wise, Alma isn't really a martial artist. He is using his strength and he can definitely fight, but um, it's more just kind of not brushing up, but. Um, fine-tuning Naruto's form a little bit. So Naruto's still kind of a haphazard brawler who can fight on the fly and, you know, do the random things, but it's a bit more fine-tuned, which means Naruto, I believe Naruto was always getting a B in Taijutsu. You're looking at it more like a B plus, maybe A minus. 
He'd still probably fall short of Sasuke, at least in the straight-out skill category, but he would beat Sasuke outright in strength and even, even in speed. Like, he's the fastest one in his class, no doubt about that, because not only is All Might just pump, uh, you know, pushing him to uh, break physically for his physical strength, durability, endurance, all that, but also, you know, running as fast as he can, adding chakra control exercises in there that he gets from the third which helps Naruto out immensely because when we get to the academy and get to the final exam, Naruto is still not able to pass, but he can actually make a solid clone. He makes one perfect clone. And he makes a sickly clone. And Naruto just is still like, eh, well, is, is actually impressed. Like, wow, well, I actually got the two this time. Awesome. Um, with, and keep in mind, that's insane that Naruto can actually do one basic clone jutsu. Um, which again, I believe is t it's technically a ninjutsu, but the uh, I guess it's technically a gen. I never can remember if the clone jutsu is classified as a genjutsu or a um, ninjutsu. I think it's a ninjutsu because it's not messing with your senses. That's the thing. Genjutsu messes with your senses to create the illusion. So I guess technically it's not. Um, and so Naruto, Naruto's bummed. He didn't pass, and Yoshinara. Uh, Toshinari, I don't know why I keep going Yoshinari. I think Yoshinari is a different character from a different series entirely. That's why I'm doing it. Toshinari, I should probably just say, keep saying All Might from here on out because that'll be easier. All Might is waiting for him and he's like, eh, it's all right, Naruto. Look, there's always next time. I know, but I really wanted to graduate this time. Well, come on, I'll get you. Uh, well, I'll meet you. Uh, meet, yeah, come on, I'll treat you some ramen. Make it cheer you up. And Naruto's like, does perk up a little bit. Uh, I, I guess, uh, I'll meet you there in a little bit, I'm like, all right, I'll meet you over there, and so, that's it, and that's when Mizuki comes in, saying, oh, Mizuki-sensei, oh, Naruto, uh, there you are, uh, you didn't do too bad, all things considered, this time around, uh, you really haven't been practicing, haven't you, uh, it's like, oh, yeah, well, it wasn't enough, it's like, well, I suppose that I could tell you a little, uh, a little something, it's a secret, but, yeah, you, uh, but it should be helping you to get to graduate, and so, he tells him the secret to the scroll, Naruto meets up with All Might, steals the scroll, and then learns a Shadow Clone Jutsu. And basically, it's all, all more or less the same thing. And so, Naruto ultimately, Naruto's like, you graduate. Uh, All Might finds out about this, he's like, why the hell did you steal the scroll? He's like, I was tricked. He's like, Ugh. It's all right, Naruto, but you pass. And just like I, just like I said, I pr and just like I promised you, Naruto, I, it's the time has come. And he just, oof. Um, with this, I pass down my strength, everything I have uh, accumulated over these years to you. And it all comes to this. Like, what am I supposed to do? Eat this. Huh? Eat it. Hard to get out. Hard. And so eventually Naruto gains the power of all, one for all. And now, and so Naruto's like, awesome. He's like, all right, let's try it out. And Naruto immediately fires up his fist. Just like, eh, smash! Boom! And then Naruto, they literally bleed, just, just craters the entirety of the place. Just, holy crap! And only to realize, holy crap! Ah! And they also realize, ah! It's like, oh, oh man, I should have realized that was going to happen. Come on, let's get you to the hospital. And he gets there. Luckily, between the Fox Chakra, um, the Fox Chakra, and uh, the healing medical ninjutsu, he's out within a couple days, luckily. Um, they don't have, unfortunately, um, oh god, what's her name? The nurse. Why am I blanking on the nurse's name in uh, My Hero? Um, but anyway, they don't have her here, so... Uh, I'm I'm being kind with the with the um, recovery time. Uh, Naruto does have to get his photo taken. Quickly does that. Does the whole uh, has the whole Konohamaru thing happen? Not too much uh, else to talk about really. But now those last few days are really focused on Naruto and All Might. And Naruto is trying to, but every time he he's about to use the ability, he stops. It's, like, it's like it's just the same thing every time. Hmm. It's, uh, uh, it's the idea and. Here's an issue I actually take with uh, All Might and with, um, oh God, why am I blinking on their names? His mentor, the one with the jet uh, quirk, um, uh, All Might, what was his teacher's name? Okay, hold on. Bose, uh, Rival, I will come up. What was, uh, 
What was his sensei's name? What was his sensei's name? Uh, I like his character. I like that guy, too. That's why it's bugging me. That I, I haven't had to think of these guys' names in a while. So, let's see. Uh, come on. What's his name? Um, I know someone's going to put it in the comments below and be like, oh, it's this. Like, yes, I found it. Thank you. Um, trained by... Okay. Oh, let me... Uh, where is his name? Recovery Girl. By the way, that was the name of the nurse character. Recovery Girl. Uh, yeah, let's see here. Uh, uh, did you... Where, oh, where, oh, where is that his teacher's name? It's bugging the hell out of me. Oh, why, oh, why, oh, why, oh, why, oh, why? All right. Um, I'm just... I am going to uh, look under a different one at the moment. But point being is that the thing, something I do take a little, not offense, that's not the right word, I take issue with, is how they decide, Gran Torino, that's what it was, it was Gran Torino. Um, anyway, what I take issue with All Might and Gran Torino's teaching of all for one, one for all, is the fact that they could have just, t I, look, I get that he had to learn on his own to some degree and like kind of turn one for all into his own. But when he's breaking his limbs constantly, don't freaking like let him figure out how to do full cowling on his own. Like he's got to figure it out. On his own. Why? Why does he have to figure it out on his own? To learn, the kid has been porkless his whole life, had to struggle and learn on his own from the get. I'm sorry. Tell him what to do. That's your job as a teacher. Actually, okay. That's partly your job as a teacher. Like, if, if the student needs help, you help him. Uh, instead of just letting him figure it out through a fluke in a microwave. Like, I'm so, I take issue with that teaching method. Now, I'm sure someone's going to get on my ass in the comments about that. Whatever. That's my personal gripe. I still love, love the character of Gran Torino in that series. Um... And I still love All Might. Point being, though, All Might, I think, here is like, you know, we got to pick it. The whole idea, Naruto, is uh, you can't use all, all, using all for one's full power is just going to be too much on your body. You're going to have to figure out a way to limit it. Limit it. And Naruto's like, all right, then, wait a minute, I got an idea. And he makes a couple clones, like, all right, try doing this. They basically telling him what to do. And the clones start kind of popping out of existence every time they try to overdo, and every time they overdo it, regulating the feel of power. All Might's impressed because he has heard of the Shadow Clone Jutsu before, at least through uh, the third. Or through other ninja. So he knows what the secret of this is. And he's he doesn't tell Naruto this, but he's un he's unawarely unawarely. He's unaware that he's actually using the Shadow Clone as a training method here because he's gaining experience from these clones. Uh, and so through this, the clones are figuring out basically how to use full cowl or full cowling. And eventually, by like the last day, Naruto basically gets down to uh, up to about 8%. Because Naruto is a ninja and therefore chakra and all that, I want to say that he's got a little bit of a better leg in the door than Midoriya did, who can only do about 5%. But yeah, Naruto's got about an 8% before it just starts to become a little hard on his body. And it's like, you're doing well, kid. And uh, now go out there, now go out there and kill him. It's like, right, it's like, right. And never forget to smile. Remember, a symbol of peace always smiles. It's like, all yeah, right. And so Naruto goes, goes to his, uh, goes to meet his team. Should note, by the way, the thing about all one for all here is that remember it doesn't just amp your physical abilities. That's its base ability, but it amps everything, including if you were a quirk user, had the level of power of your quirk. In Naruto's world, we don't have quirks. We have Kenkai Genkai's, we don't have quirks. But we got chakra, which means Naruto's chakra reserves probably got amped to the ass level. To, a, to an, uh, the ass level. Yeah, right down there. Now, they got uh, amped to an untold degree, which means all that chakra control actually benefited him because he's probably now back down to where he is again for chakra control because he got this massive jolt of chakra in him without intending to get it. But still, Naruto shows up. He's all like, uh, he's all like grinning and you know, kind of idiot like about, like, and happy about everything. Uh, Shikamaru points out this is for people who failed. 
a lot of the it's a lot of the same stuff here leading ultimately to the bell test and we'll summarize the bell test real quick because that's where i want that's where i left off in the book that's where i'm going to leave off here um and i imagine iruka and uh all my are both sitting with um the third hearing about kakashi and what he's ultimately and how many teams he's ultimately passed in his day and he's like this is worse than theirs uh so, come on kid and so naruto initially tries to go after kakashi the base same way but when he pops out of the uh the river he's got full cowling up to eight percent and he immediately starts to go after kakashi who notes that he's fast <laughs> Holy crap! And, and Naruto, and he, again, he's not as skilled as Sasuke, but his physical strength makes up for that. He, if Sasuke is a ten, Naruto falls around seven, basically. So Naruto could keep up with Sasuke, and his physical abilities actually put him in a very good bracket with Sasuke. Sasuke, meanwhile, I should note, has seen Naruto as a straight-out rival because I imagine there's been points where Sasuke has lost or at least tied with Naruto, and the fact that anyone could actually keep up with him, he found. Uh, uh, unreal, but also kind of welcoming to someone to actually push him. So Zosuke is probably a little stronger here. Sakura also is admitting that Naruto is pretty cool. She's having difficulty seeing him. Naruto's speed at 8% is probably something akin to either Lee with his weights on as fastest, or uh, I don't think I'd go as with Lee with his weights off. It's definitely nothing. Lee right now is kind of our benchmark for speed. It's certainly not Haku levels. Uh, which is basically light speed when he's jumping through the mirrors, more or less. It's that's that's a uh, a contested statement. I know, I know. But Nar but Naruto is still able to actually put Kakashi on the defensive, like straight out defensive. He actually has to block and parry. This isn't something where he can just take Naruto lightly, and to the point where Naruto bashes the ground, bashes up some rocks. Kakashi is like, Ugh! it's like, oh, it's like oh, I try trying to block my view huh but you're not gonna get the bells that easy <laughs> what and it just smacks with naruto who's was it a clone and then the naruto's come in just boom uh and he, i'm sure he's learned a couple smashes from um all might but basically uh one of the things they basically he does is kind of just try to huh? boom and the, the naruto clone c can use a hundred percent of wall for one they're just gonna pop out of existence after using it so it's kind of actually a very dangerous thing for Naruto to have here. Granted, Naruto's not going to be going all out. Even Naruto knows better than to do that against the Leaf Ninja. But he does go like 50% on his clones. And he just kind of, boom, smack it, boom! A giant gust of wind. And just, it's like, ugh! The bells get knocked off. Like, Got it! And Naruto actually <laughs> grabs a bell. And Kakashi just, hmm. It's like, ha Got it! And Kakashi immediately is on. It's like, what? What? <laughs> And, um, and Naruto's just like, <laughs> cut punched. And then just, Kakashi just, poof, poof, and just poof, ties into the, uh, what did you watch? Ah, ah, what the heck? I got the bell! I got the bell! Like, and to which Naruto, and Kakashi just grabs it, ties it back, and like, whew, I must admit, you are strong, Naruto, and you actually did grab a bell. But, uh, you have, you forgot, Naruto. You have to grab a bell by the end of the day and keep it. <laughs> That's the thing. It's not solely just getting a bell. I think that's a, it's never actually stated, but I think that's a part of the test they never actually say. Hypothetically, you could get a bell from Kakashi in the first minute. Hypothetically. Maybe even gives you the bell. <laughs> just to fuck with you. But uh, keeping that bell is an a thing entirely. Or, let me put it this way. I can see this playing in another way. Let's say that, yeah, once you touch the bell, you're good. On different scenario, I can see here is that Naruto's hand was like about to hit the belt, and Naruto and then Kakashi just came in just, and just was like, what? And just kind of launched into the tree and did that. That was close. One more second, you would have had that belt, Naruto. I got to give you props. Absolutely. To which then Naruto tries using one for all for one. Nope, one for all. I had it right the first time. He tries using his strength that like busts out. The, yeah, so don't think I wasn't uh, included in uh, all your abilities, or at least the majority. You're definitely, your strength is impressive. No doubt about that. That's why I doubled, I double wired the ninja wire. It's, uh, you don't have, a, you might have the strength to break out of it, but you would end up breaking your bones, wouldn't you? <laughs> and Naruto's just like, damn it! And then Sasuke tries to take a swap at him, swap at him, swipe at him. And really it all plays out more or less the same. Uh, to, uh, to the point where Naruto is still tied to the boast. 
uh, with the rope, but Naruto theoretically could break out of that, but he's so hungry, I imagine even activating one for all would be a little difficult at that point. Still, the bell test is one. They one they are a team, and they're going to have their first missions tomorrow. And so, part one of what if Naruto had one for all is, uh, is now one and done. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, subscribe. What'd you think? Do would you want me to let me know in the comments below if you'd like me to do that retcon at the be that I mentioned at the beginning? Because now that I think about it even long, if the more I think about it, the more I'm like, okay, that is a way I could have done that. That actually would have made sense. Um, you know, honestly, if Orochimaru finds out about one for all, oh, he's gonna want one for all. Oh, he's gonna want one for all. <laughs> um the idea they could pass that it could be tra think about it he could use one for all because there's nothing about that says you can't do this you could use one for all in theory if it works this way naruto pass it through someone like um kimimaru it the, his uh quirk factor his kick again guy binds to the uh the quirk and then or to the quirk to one for all, one for all, you give it back to the original user. He gets it; it's now part of his body, and then he just passes on and just keeps transferring it back and back. It's got to be uh, you've got to willingly give it to your opponent. Um, now, with the most recent two, like two or three chapters of the series, it's a little up in the air if it can officially be stolen. We know Shigaraki swiped the fourth user's danger sense. But it's implied that he might have gone willingly. And we know for a fact that's what Deku's doing right now. is transferring one for all willingly over to Shigaraki to weaken him. Which is just a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it works out. Uh, until then, though, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you folks next time.